Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we're on episode 109 of this series now, so we're almost at that 110 mark, so that is pretty insane stuff indeed. But yeah, we have got one system to check out today from the user Captain Awesome Source um, from my Discord. Um, so yeah, massive thank you for them for sending this in. Also, if you guys want to send in your own simulations for me to check out, make sure to either join my Discord um, and then you can upload it in a specified upload chat. Um, here we've got it all set up so you can just drop your system in, no problem. Or you can uh, let me know the name of your simulation in the comments and I can go and find it on the Steam Workshop. Whichever way works for you, um, best we can um, get that arranged at some point. But yeah, with that all out the way, guys, let's get started. So yeah, the simulation they sent in, Captain Awesome Source, is called the Wings of Fire Character Solar System. So I'm not sure I've ever heard of that before so um yeah apologies for that but yeah let's go ahead and uh, see what they have got here so here we go right so surface data missing i have no idea what that means i think it's due to the latest update of um update 24.1.2 ever since that came out i've seen this in a lot of simulations so i don't know why it's doing that um so apologies if it does ruin anything in the simulation but yeah i don't know um why it's doing that and there's no way to go back to the previous update of 24 so yeah that really sucks um but yeah, that all out the way. Okay, so the Wings of Fire character solar system. So this is a Wings of Fire system. Gas giants are queen, rocky planets, popular characters, random orbits, planets are villains. Dark stalker is a villain and a good character. Do not unpause until you get to the object. Okay, with a million things around it. Okay, cool. So let's um, see what they have prepared for us today then. Okay, so here is the star itself here. So Wings of Fire. It's pretty hot in temperature as we can see. So it's yeah, almost 7,000 degrees Celsius there. Luminosity at 26 suns. Yeah, pretty... Uh, pretty um, reasonable um numbers there so right there we go right now moving on to the first object of the day this is clay here so here we go so i believe this um simulation was built for surface grids as well so maybe we see some cool stuff um in here the graphics look a little um funny so maybe it's um do i need to turn my graphics up because they look a little funny i don't know if that's just me uh quality let's go on high there we go, that, there we go, there we go, there we go. That, that fixed it a bit um so yeah there we go there so that is the first object of the day. So there is clay. Now moving on to moon. So this is the next one out. So this, they're all at minus 270 degrees. I'm not sure if any of the men have water on them or not. Because I've not been able to try this in any older versions unfortunately. So yeah if anything is broken I am very sorry. But yeah, there's nothing um, I can do about it. Um, so yeah. Right, um, yeah, there we go. But yes, it, it really sucks that we can't go back to the older version. Because I've seen this on a few of my simulations. But I don't, I don't know... I haven't noticed anything wrong with them, but I'm not sure if these are supposed to be the way they are or not. So yeah, I'm um, created this system, Captain Water Source. Let me know um, if the simulation is supposed or how it's supposed to be, because if it isn't, I'm all I'm up to doing it again um, once the ver or once the simulation is updated, the latest version of the game. So if you want to do it again, I can um, get another version out for you um, as well um, if you want, um, of course. Um, but yeah, there we go. So that is that planet. Right now, moving on to Cricket over here. Or maybe I'm completely wrong and they're all supposed to appear like this. I'm not sure if they're meant to or not. They're all at minus 270, so I don't know. I know the new version of the game has been very, very buggy indeed. So, yeah, I, I generally do not know, um, which is real unfortunate. But, um, yeah, right, there we go. So, this is Bumblebee here. So, also at minus 270. I think that's just the thing that the game does now. Ever since Update 24 came out with the Surface Grids, there has been a lot of bugs in the game. So, yeah, it, we don't know if a lot of things are working on or not. But, okay, so this one's got water on it. Okay, so maybe maybe um, the other planets were supposed to appear that way then, um, is what I'm guessing, since this one does have water on it. So this is Starflight here. So it's an, an all-ocean world by the looks of it. Um, but, yeah, with no atmosphere on it. So that'd be um, quite an interesting world there. So that is Starflight there. Now moving on to the next objects, we've got Sundu over here. So this one also looks like it may have some water on it. I'm not entirely sure. No, it doesn't look like it, actually. Composition, yeah, there's no water on it. Okay. So there it is there. Rightio. Right, and now moving on. So next up, we've got this one. Okay, another ocean world by the looks of it here. So here it is. Yes, that one's got a lot of water in it, as we can see. Pretty 32% uh, um, ocean there. So yeah, pretty, um, pretty extreme amount of um, water going on there. So there is that one. Right now, moving on to this next one. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to pronounce that. So, yeah, we've got this one here. So, um, I think it's called King Kaju. So, we've got um, this one here. Look, that's got a nice white pearl looking world there. Right, now moving on to the next one, we've got Winter over here. Okay, so another all ocean world, as we can see here. So, there it is there. Right, now zooming out. Let's continue. So, we've got that one. Now, we've got su um, Tsunami over here. So this one, so this one's got some clouds on it as well. Okay, some very um, interesting areas on it as well. Some light blue um, on it there. That's quite a cool um, looking world. A little um, up like that. 
It's also got some clouds which are not showing. I think it's just um, due to the simulation um, being saved. The game just really likes to mess around with your simulations when you've got water. And yeah, any any simulation that has water on it, don't expect it to be the same when you reopen it sometimes. It's like with Earth. If you try and um, spawn that in, save it in a simulation, then open the simulation again, it completely messes up the way the Earth looks. So it's just a bugger I think they need to fix, which we can't um, fix unless we go to the older version in update 23. So yeah, any update 24 simulations with the surface grids, they can be um, messed around with a lot. So that's uh, advice for everyone who's making simulations in the latest version, that it could um, definitely make sure to check it um, after you save it, because it could change the way the planets are. I mean, like here, I'm not sure all these are most to be, or meant to be minus 270, but yeah, when I click play, hopefully it'll uh, fix it up as well. And yeah, here we go, we've got blue here, quite a, ni a nice all ocean world here. Nice shade of blue on the atmosphere as well, we can see some uh, slightly bits of land or lighter um, levels of the ocean there. But yeah, there we go. So it looked like there was some land almost popping out, but just under the surface of the water there. Alright, next up we've got turtle over here. So this one is a um, all rocky world, as we can see here. No water on here. Rightio. So there we are. Right, so turtle. Right, um, we've got this one up here as well. So, oh yeah, well, I think I already clicked on this one. It's just a little asteroid there. Right, now we've got ruby over here. So this is a the first of the gas giants. Okay. And this one's got some moons as well. So here it is. It's the first of the gas giants. So we've got Skywing over here. So this one's got some water on it, actually. Yeah, I'm not sure what that surface grid data thing meant when we opened the simulation. I literally have no idea what changes that has made. Because he did say it reset the stuff, but was the stuff changed in the first place? I know in my simulations it wasn't, so I don't know if that applies to every object or only ones that were edited in a different way. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, there we go. So we've got Skywing here. So like a desert-like world with a blue atmosphere on it there. So there we go there. Um, also another sky wing. This one's going with a red and orange colour theme. So more of an exotic looking world over here in orbit of the ruby gas giant. And then we have another sky wing over here as well. Um, also with some water on it. Oh, did I already see that one? I'm not sure. Did I? Did I? Oh, no, I, oh no, these two are just very similar. Look, they're literally the same texture there. Okay, so it wasn't just me being silly then. Okay, so there is sky wing. Alright, now moving on to the next one, which is this one. So we've got coral over here. So another gas giant. This one's going with some different colours though, so we've got some grey, some yellow and blue in there, a bit of brown in the south as well there. Okay, so we've got some uh, more moons going on here. Righty oats, so we've got sea wings. Sea wing. And a lot, okay, a lot of sea wings. Okay, so we've got all of these here. So you can see there's all, they all appear different as well, different colours going on as well. Righty over there. So we've got sea wing. Alright, now I'm moving on to Moorhead over here. So this one's another gas giant. Similar sort of colours as to the previous ones. So we've got mud wings. That's quite a nice looking one, actually. I like that one. Um, then we've got this one. Okay, so all the same name. So yeah, there we go. And then there is that one. Rightio. So there are that one. Oh, there are all of those around the mud wings. Okay, next up we've got this red one called Glory. Okay, so a nice red trail with this one. It's pretty large in size as well. A bit larger than Jupiter there. So this one's got rain wing. Okay, so a couple of those, as we can see. Um, there's also some night wings over here as well. So we've got this one here. So one, two, three, and then there was a fourth one there. And then that was one that was on the rain ones, so never mind. So we've got all of those guys. Ratio. Moving on. The next one is Snowfall over here. So this is a orange and white gas giant by the looks of it there. Let's go on a flashlight, get closer look at this guy. So there it is there. Looks like a random spawn to me. Not a bad one, I have to say. Nice mixes of orange, a bit of yellow and brown in there as well. So that's a pretty really good looking one there. And then we've got Ice Wing. So another one of those. So yeah, I've got a decent amount of those. So three of those in orbit of Snowball there. So there we go. Oh, Snowfall, sorry. Um, so we've got that one. Okay, the next one is Wasp out here. So this one is going with um, a whole range of colours on it. By the looks of it, we've got loads of different shades in there. So yeah, there it is there. So there we go. Let's put it back on realistic mode as well. So then we've got Hive Wing over here. So you've got Hive Wing. So then you have this one. And then the last, another Hive Wing there. So yeah, we've got the, all those guys. Rightio. I'm interested to see what that one with million objects was around. See, uh did say um, don't play the simulation until we see it, so I really am interested to see what that is. And what's that crazy orbit as well? That's a really extreme orbit there. Did we already view that one? Oh yeah, it was. We, we went. It was that asteroid. Okay. So next up, we've got this one over here, Orca. Any moons around this one though? Just by itself there. So it's a chilling little dwarf planet um, heading out over here. Okay. Now we're moving on to this one. So another gas giant out here. Also with some moons as well. So we've got some more um, rocky worlds with some splatters of water on them as well. So we've got a couple of those. Rightio. So there are those. 
Right, um, next up we've got Scarlet over here. So this one is very far out, another dwarf planet. All the way by itself over here. Still receiving light, no problem though. So you can see just how luminous that star is, even at these distances. So it's about 120 AU out. So, so this star's a lot more powerful than our sun after all. Okay, so the last object is Cobra over here. Has this one got like a million objects around it? <laughs> I mean, there isn't even a million. Okay, I'm guessing it's this one. Ah, okay. That's why he didn't want us to click play. We've got a bunch of Mars' moons that are going to smash into it. All right, so yeah, we're definitely checking that out. But yeah, that is all of the objects checked out now. So before we click play, let's just get a line up and review it. So right over here, let's just go to the gas giants. Okay, so out of the gas giants, I think my favorite one was definitely that, that one with the nice shades of orange in it. Although it is a random spawn rock, I think that's the best looking one to me out of all of these guys. Uh, moving on to the Rockies, though, I did like um, this one. Tsunami. Then some of the regular ocean worlds, they do look pretty nice. Um, so, yeah, there are those guys. I think like, the ocean worlds definitely take it for me out of all of them. But then there was that yellow, that yellow looking world, which um, I'm quite fond of as well. I think it was, was it this one? It was one of the, was it that one? I'm not sure. There's quite a lot to go through here, um, which are all very similar in the way they appear. Yeah, it was this one. I did like this one as well. This um, specific yellow one there. Um, but, yeah, there we go. So let's just head back out to where we were, and let's um, get a look of um, all the carnage, which is about to unfold all the way out here with the last planet. So we've got Cobra here. What was it a dwarf planet? Let's see. Uh, we've got a Mimus to smash into it. Okay, so I'd say it's... Um, I'd probably argue that's the sort of size of a planet at um, 2,000 um, radius. I mean, if we compare it to Mercury, um, is it anywhere near Mercury? I think Mer yeah, Mercury's only a little bigger, so I'd, I'd probably argue that's a planet over a dwarf planet, although it's chilling quite out here by itself. All right, so let's go ahead and slow down time before we click play and watch this chaos unfold. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, one thing I want to try as well, I want to see if the surface grids react to um, collisions instantly. So I'm going to um, add this um, up here. So there we go. I want to add this up here. I want to see if this changes when I smash stuff into it. So um, yeah, there we go. We'll just close that menu down for now. Oh no, I don't want to do that. So yeah, there we go. And let's just close that off. Right, okay. So we've got all of the minuses, the demoses there ready. Let's slow down time. Like we already have. Click play. And here we go. Okay, so it's all frozen up. Okay, so maybe some of the objects will change if we go back through them all. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So this is about to get absolutely smashed to bits by all of these Mimuses and stuff. So there we go. These are traveling pretty quick as well. But yeah, there we go. So let's click play and watch this chaos unfold. So here we go. All right, so we've got the first Mimus about to smash into it all at the same time, actually. There we go. Oh, and the surface grids do react to collisions. Okay. But yeah, there we go. So we've got multiple explosions going off. We can still see like some of the ice areas do look a little funny. That's just due to the game being still new of, into this version. Um, they haven't fully like got rid of all the bugs and stuff yet. But yeah, there we go. So let's uh, speed up a little more. You can see all the collisions going into it. But I think that is all of them now. So you can see the surface screws have gone absolutely crazy with all these collisions. We can see some very hot areas going into the 7000s. But I'm sure that's going to cool down um, as well. But yeah, there we go. So how's the temperature of the planet itself doing? I just reset it to zero degrees. Let's see if it uh, does anything. So there we go. Just get it. It's also going to get way colder. We can see some of the areas were white hot where the collision markers were. So yeah, there we go. That. But yeah, that's cooling all the way down again. So yeah, there we go. That is the collision stun for Cobra um, or Cobra, however you want to say it, at the end here. So there we are. Okay, I want to go back and check. Whoa, what's going on over here? Glory. I saw like a red trail. Was it just? Oh no, it's just the object trail. Okay, never mind. Right. So yeah, there we go. Okay, but I do want to quickly hop back to the inner planets because I want to see if any of them change when we click play. So where are we? The inner planets. I want to quickly hover over them and see if any of them did change in appearance quickly. So we're just going to have a quick look for all of these. So that one's that one's all frozen up now. Tsunami here. So if we put it to zero degrees, maybe it'll warm up. There we go. So that's how it should look. So it's just the um, surface grid update being really annoying. That's why it froze up there. I'm assuming this one as well should be um, a little warmer. Let's see if that warms up. So yeah, there we go. Let's just quickly uh, hop through them all just to see if any other changes um, are necessary. But yeah, there we go. Right. So I think that's all of them. Was this one? Did this one have water on it? Yeah, there we go. So let's see if it warms up or not. So that's getting cold again. Tsunami over here. That's also getting cold. Yeah, this update is um, pretty weird. I don't know if it's going to be hot or cold, but we did see it in both its forms of hot and cold. So... Um, yeah, there we go. So ice and water. But yeah, that is everything for the system, guys. Let's go ahead and close that menu off and see the temperatures spreading out um, a bit more on it. But yeah, there is the um, Wings of Fire character system, guys. So yeah, let us know um, your thoughts down below um, in the comments. And yeah, this this one's definitely 
one of the top ones for me um, out of all the planets. But yeah, let us know your thoughts in the comments. I'm pretty sure the creator of this system, um, Captain Awesome Source, would um, appreciate any feedback um, you have for him. And also, again, a massive thank you to him for sending this simulation in for me to check out as well. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video. And also, subscribe if new. Helps on the journey to 12,000 subscribers, as I believe we're only 300 subscribers away from it now. So yeah, massive thank you um, all for that. But yeah, with that all out of the way, guys, make sure you all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.